Good morning, welcome to Body Break. This is Manuela Nemesh, personal trainer at World Gym. Today I'll be doing a biceps triceps routine just to give you a few ideas of exercises you can superset, meaning alternate one um, set of each exercise, one biceps, one triceps, to keep your heart rate going and work a little bit harder. I'm going to start with a barbell preacher curl, very basic exercise, uh, with an easy bar. It's called easy because of the form, the Z bar, not because it's an easy exercise. It's actually pretty hard. I start with this one while well, I'm still fresh. You can do a warm-up set and then start with a, with a lighter weight and then you can go for um, your regular exercise. Make sure you go all the way down. This is when the bicep works mostly, not so much the half rear. I would normally go for 10 reps. Excel on the way up. And then I'm going to use the same bar to do a skull crusher on a bench. So working the triceps. Make sure your back, lower back is supported. So don't arch your back. If you need to place your feet higher on the bench. And grab the bar in a narrow stance to make sure your elbows are towards the ceiling. Lower the bar towards your forehead and extend the elbows. Next I'm going to use dumbbells for both biceps and triceps exercises. I'm going to do an isolation movement Use a lighter weight that you would normally use for the regular bicep curl because one arm is going to hold isometric and the other one is going to curl. So both arms are actually working hard at the same time. I normally go for 10 reps and then switch arms with no breaks. Then I'm going to do the tricep kick. Most people, or the basic exercise, is with the palms facing your body. You can change the position of the hand, having it supine or uh, facing down. So I'm going to go like this, palms up. Make sure your elbows don't move. Or palms down. So use a lighter weight than would you, you would normally use for the regular tricep kick. Then I'm going to use an inclined bench. Now the lower the angle, the harder it is. This one works also just part of your bicep. Make sure your elbows are by your side. You lean back and lower again the weight to the full range of motion in an angle. Next, I'm going to use a machine. machine uh, machines are not really my favorite, but I really like this one. So for this tricep press exercise, you can use both hands at the same time. However, you might end up compensating with a stronger arm. Or you can do one arm at the same time. Uh, one arm at a time, sorry. You're going to place your elbows in the middle of the, the pad. If you use one arm, just going to press all the way down, all the way up. Start with the weakest arm first. You have to contract your abs. Or if you do both arms, it's pretty much, obviously with heavier weight, looks like this. Next I'm going to do a concentration curl. Start with the weakest arm first. I did the left arm before, so I'm going to use the right here. Okay, all the way down, all the way up. The elbow is at the edge of your thigh. And you alternate arms. For the triceps, 
I'm going to use a plate. So I'm going to do a tricep dip. There's many ways you can do this exercise. You can do them with a the knees bent. Just slide out of the bench. Make sure you're not very far to put pressure on your lower back. You can extend your legs. You can place the legs on a bench. So those are different variations. Or you can also add some additional weight. Once you get used to it, you'll see it's pretty easy to add resistance. Make sure you do it safely. I'm used to do it, but ideally you want to have a workout partner to help you place the plates on your lap and off. Go all the way down, all the way. Less elegant now. And last exercise with cables. I'm going to use a rope. So by having the palms facing you, uh, sorry, palms uh, facing each other, you actually work the forearms a little bit more. Okay. Rope is together and try to open it when, as you bring it up. Still maintain your elbows by your side. And using the same rope for the triceps, I try to maximize. So each time I'm using a bar, I try to use it for both biceps and triceps. If I use dumbbells, I try to do the same. And probably you can add a little bit more weight than you had on the biceps, but still less than you would have with the with a bar, which is much easier. Elbows by your side, open all the way down, and bring the hands to chest level. Thank you for watching me. If you wish to get in touch, check my class schedule at World Gym or watch previous videos on Body Break, please visit my website www.medwellafit.com. Thank you, have a great day.